So tonight I want to cover two critical issues that are related to inequality. The first is the state of our healthcare system, and the second, as Jill said, is the Trans-Pacific Partnership, a global treaty that will inhibit our ability to protect our health, our safety, and our planet if it is signed into law. First, the national health law known as the Affordable Care Act, or ACA, codifies into law a healthcare system based on profits rather than health and guarantees inequality in access to health care. People who don't have insurance coverage are forced into buying a tiered private health insurance plan, platinum, gold, silver, or bronze. Last year, 66 million people in the United States went without necessary care because of the cost. And 64 million people reported having trouble paying their medical bills. Employer-sponsored insurance premiums are rising faster than income, while our out-of-pocket costs have more than doubled in the past decade. Workers are paying more for insurance and are getting less. The Consumer Finance Protection Bureau reported that the top complaint they receive is debt and that the greatest cause of debt is medical bills. Who is benefiting the most from the ACA? It's no coincidence that of all the billionaires in the U.S., those with interests in health care and pharmaceuticals have gained the most wealth. Lobbyists from those sectors spent more than any other sector to make sure of that. Our healthcare system is on a path for being completely privatized. And unless we mobilize and do something about that, it's, it's going to continue on that path. So the ACA is the opposite of what the majority of people in the United States want and what everyone needs. As Jill said, a universal, everybody in, nobody out, publicly financed, single-payer health system that provides a single standard of care to every person, high-quality care without financial barriers. This is what equality looks like. Everyone, no matter what their income, having access to the health care they need, the Medicare for all. It's what other nations use, and they spend less than we do and have better health outcomes. In fact, we're already spending enough on health care as a nation to cover everyone. In 2012, we wasted $375 billion on paperwork due to our complex and bureaucratic system. This is enough to cover all of our uninsured and make everyone's coverage more comprehensive. Medicare for all systems is an economic stimulus for, for very many reasons. I won't go into them. We must stop this failed experiment of our current market-based system. Medicare for all. It is through education, organizing, and mobilizing ourselves that we will win our human right to health care. Equal power is a force that will transform our society in 2015 and we build our power together. We are currently facing an important battle that, that unites us and that we must and can win. For the past five years, President Obama has been negotiating an agreement known as the Trans-Pacific Partnership, or TPP. While it's called a trade agreement, the TPP is about much more than trade. It gives corporations the power to control drugs at the local level and will take away our rights to protect our families, our communities, and the planet. Don't be surprised if you haven't heard of the TPP. For the first time, the text of a trade agreement that the White House is negotiating was classified, so members of Congress have restricted access to it and can't really talk about the details. And uh, the media and the public have been cut out. OK, I, I now hear that you can't hear me very well. And I apologize for that because I'm trying. Can you hear me now? Better. A little better. more. OK, yes. maybe if yes. I bring that mic that up. Better? Yes. OK, so sorry. All right. I was talking about the TPP. And I said, don't be surprised if you haven't heard about it because for the first time, the text of a trade agreement that the president is negotiating um, has been classified so that members of Congress have restricted access to it, and they can't talk about the details, and the media and the public have been shut out. But over 600 advisors, including many of the most powerful and destructive corporations like ExxonMobil, Monsanto, and Halliburton, and Walmart have direct access to the text. I'm going to um, undo my mic. Better. Is that a better sound for you, Jill? Yeah, that, that's working better. Thank you, Mark. That's better. Okay. 
So the um, corporations like ExxonMobil, Monsanto, Halliburton, and Walmart have direct access to the text and are helping to write the TPP. We've seen portions of the text that have been leaked, and it's pretty bad news. Um, you can think about it as NAFTA on steroids. And we've had 20 years of experience with NAFTA, so we know what these rigged corporate trade agreements do. They drive a race to the bottom in wages and worker rights. They gut our environmental protection and public health standards, and they erode democracy. Under the Trans-Pacific Partnership, if we pass laws to label our foods or know where they came, came from and know what's in them, corporations can challenge that. If we ban fracking or other extreme forms of energy extraction, corporations can challenge those in court too. Provisions in the TPP will also harm our ability to build local sustainable economies. The TPP affects everything that we care about, and that's why it unites us. Together, we can stop it. The President is asking Congress to pass a law called Fast Track. You heard him mention it tonight. He calls it Trade Promotion Authority. But basically, this will allow him to sign the agreement before Congress sees it. So we have to stop Fast Track. Congress is planning hearings very soon, in the next few weeks. So here's what we need to do. Go to fat, stopfasttrack.com. Stop fasttrack.com and use the tools there to contact your member of Congress. Go to flushthetpp.org and take our action pledge. You'll also find tools there that you can use to write letters to the editor or organize other types of activities to raise awareness in your community. And finally, if you're in the New York area, the negotiators are going to be there starting January 26th. So we're organizing a protest at their hotel. You can find more details about that on flushthetpp.org. The reality is that the TPP is a game changer in our fight for equality and sustainability. I urge you to take action. Let's make 2015 the year that we see that all of our issues are connected and that we build our power together. Thank you.